East Bay Brewery, with support from neighboring businesses, is in a food truck fight with their city. Martinez council members this week voted to ban food trucks at Five Sons Brewery. One concern, the food trucks hurt business at local restaurants. Others argue the ban makes the city look bad. Clown Force Dan Thorne has the story. It's a busy night of beers at Five Sons Brewery. The new location in downtown Martinez is just about a month old, but something's missing. There's no more food trucks. Um, we're not quite sure where the hatred for these trucks are coming from. Sean Macias is a Martinez native and co-owner of the brewery. He says having the food trucks helps bring in a unique flavor to Martinez, and it also helps attract more people to downtown. Um, the food truck plan is just to offer yet another uh, opportunity for people to come down here and try a new type of food. A lot of brick and mortar places started as a food truck. I know that there are businesses in downtown that started as a food truck. The ban is technically enforcing a city ordinance that's already in place, which prohibits food trucks in downtown Martinez. But with help from some neighboring businesses, Five Sons is petitioning the city to update existing regulations. More than 2,000 signatures have been collected so far. If you're serving good food, people are going to come to you. So I think it's ridiculous to ban the food trucks. I'm all for them. It's just wrong. It's wrong. Others tell us they do not oppose food trucks, but they would prefer the food come from local eateries. I mean, when you're from Martinez, it's a little different. So I support local businesses. So let's bring in the food trucks from our restaurants here. The next hope for the brewery's owners is a workshop at the city to help bring the food trucks back. We don't want anyone to have less business. We want everyone to thrive together. This is just something that's not good for Martinez. It's a bad image. Reporting in Martinez, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.